Hey friends, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here. Hi, my name is Liz. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I want to say a massive Happy New Year to all of you who are watching and a massive thank you to everyone for all the support that you have given me for the year of 2021. But now is a fresh start. It's 2022. Here's to 2022. I wish I had a drink. I have my water. Cheers to 2022. It's gonna be an amazing year. I've already said to myself, set your goals and live your life. Life's too short to be thinking about things and worrying too much. But if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and join this family here in 2022. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. I've just come home from work, straight from work. And yeah, I tanned my hands and my body, but just not my face. So I don't know why it's washing my face out so much. Please do ignore that. Anyway, if you want to see my best of beauty 2021, then keep on watching. This is going to be a video of products that I have been loving or I loved throughout the year of 2021. Some of them are from the start, the very start of the year and then some of them are from only like a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, bear that in mind. I think I'm going to do skincare first because why not? Skincare is first on the category. Actually no, I'm going to do a tan that I loved throughout 2021 and just an FYI it is not this one. This one I had in my drawer for a while now and I don't know whether it's gone off or not but it's it goes on not as nice as the one I'm going to mention so yeah please just ignore that. I don't look as washed out in person than on camera anyway I might turn the lights down. Is that better? God, what a great start to 2022. First video back. But yeah, I hope you all had an amazing new year. I hope you had an amazing Christmas as well. Let me know what you did for Christmas and New Year's down in the comments. I'd love to know. But anyway, like I said, I have been loving this one tan for a good few months now. I can't remember when I started loving this, but I definitely bought it this year. I hope. <laughs> I always forget when I buy things. I might like put like a label on there saying when I opened it. That's definitely a good thing to do for makeup and skincare. Might start doing that. Anyway, just shut up and show you. It's the Bondi Sands Aero Aerated Self Tanning Foam in Ultra Dark. It's a quick dry formula, intense hydration and coconut scent. Um, this has been definitely my go-to this year and it lasts for so long as well but to be fair I only ever do my arms, my neck, my chest, my hands and sometimes the bottom of my legs and my feet so I do save a little bit but yeah this is definitely the one to go for. The colour is so nice, it's not like this colour, this is like orangey fake tanny and this smells like fake tan but this this is more like an olive natural like you've been out in the sun sort of tan um i wish i was wearing it today because this is a bad example it doesn't smell like fake tan like i said it's got a coconut scent to it and it doesn't last on the skin for days you like put it on wash it off the next morning and you can still smell you know the coconutty sort of smell but you don't smell like fake tan do you know what I mean? I need to stop slouching. But yeah, definitely one of my favourite tans this year. I have bought the Molly May No Filter tan, I think it is, in dark, ultra dark. I'll let you know how I get on with that because this one is pretty much empty. So, and I won't be using this one for very long. So I can tell you that now. Okay, so now on to skincare. Starting off with this little gem here. This is the Ole Henriksen banana bright eye cream this little pot is only like seven mils and it's lasted me so long it's unreal i have bought the full size that's how much i love it if you've got dark circles or dryness then you're gonna love this 
it's so hydrating because it's got like sort of a orangey sort of tone to it it does counteract the purple tones especially because it's like got like yellow tint um you know color correcting and all that jazz the only downside to this is the smell it's very artificial very orangey not a massive fan of the smell but i'll get over that that's fine because it is a really really good product and i still got a little bit to go in this so what i tend to do is use this in the night time just on those inner corners and then um, bring it down and on my eyelids and then i do go in with a different cream for anti-aging because i am 25 now your girl's gotta help with the aging situation you know but yeah definitely love that this year last year i'm quite late in the game with my video um putting it out because it is the 4th of january when i'm filming this and it's probably not going to be until sunday i'm uploading this so yeah bear with me so next i've got the moisture surge 100 hour auto replenishing hydrator I've still got it in the box because this is just a new one that I've had. She's beautiful. She's pretty. I absolutely love this moisturiser. It's so lightweight. It's for all skin types, which is absolutely amazing. It's amazing on clients and it's an amazing skin prep for makeup as well because it is that lightweight gel texture and it, it's like sort of tacky but not at the same time. So it's going to help the foundation stick and stay put and also hydrate the skin which is amazing it's got hyaluronic acid in there which helps to plump the skin and hydrate i love this it's so good and i'm not just saying that because i work for the brand but moisture surge clean moisture surge is the one if i want a thicker cream i'll use something different like the bobby brown enrich vitamin enrich face base or the walida skin food but this is definitely my go-to and like I said it's for all skin types so if you feel like you are oily but you're dehydrated and you need that hydration this this is the one definitely love that I'm not going to talk too much about that because you all just know how much I love that so next is another Clinique product I absolutely rinse this throughout summer and also I love this for when I'm tanned like today typically I haven't got it on today which is why didn't I do that because my face wouldn't have been this pale the Clinique dramatically different BB gel this stuff is my ride or die when I want a bit of a tint to my skin and hydration I have to admit it's not as much hydration as I would like so I pop the moisture surge on first let that sink in and then I'll go in with this I I've bought the full size which you'll see in a video coming very soon this is amazing for adding a little tint it's not gonna add coverage but it's gonna just make your skin look so nice so summer like this will be your friend in summer especially this mini is only 20 pounds which is great and clinique's always on offers i believe you can use my discount code on look fantastic lftf liz to get 20 percent off clinique so definitely i'll link it down below like with everything i'll link down below for you to find and maybe purchase yourself or read a little bit more about it what i love about clinique as well again i'm not just saying this because i work with them it's allergy tested fragrance free i've got sensitive skin it's good for my skin next i'm going to talk about the mac fix plus now we all know we all know this product and i have loved this product for so many years but i don't know why but this year i've non-stop used this this was full at the start of the year now look at it the smell of this so like old-fashioned smell i love it i love it i really love the coconut one as well but i have to admit i just love the original one i know they do a mattifying one as well now and a radiant one but this one is just amazing all around it i use it to put on my soap before i do my brows which i'll speak about in a minute i use it before makeup 
in the middle of makeup when I want to merge the powders all together and then maybe sometimes I go on top with a proper setting mist, setting spray. But overall this is so good. Could you try again? Oh wow. Siri literally just recorded everything I just said. <laughs> Let me know which scent you prefer because I know everyone's different and I'm just that basic bitch who just prefers the original, you know. Oh, I forgot about one skincare product. How could I forget? This I have rinsed already. This is the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. This, I can't remember when I got this. It wasn't too long ago, it was a couple of months ago, but I have used a full size of this, which, well, it's not the full size, but it's 100ml. And I got the 100ml again, just because I got this from my secret centre. Connor's brother actually bought it for me because he had me as Secret Center, and I wanted to try the eye cream which is in here and it's a full size eye cream and this was in there so I thought may as well get the full size eye cream and then get the mini of this again because this lasts for so long. I have to admit I only use it in the mornings just because in the night I like a, a different one. I use the Clarifying Lotion by Clinique. Um, but that's too harsh for me to use twice a day because like I said I've got sensitive skin. This has such a lovely glow, such a nice glow to the skin. It just helps to freshen the skin up, awaken the skin. first seen this on Sarah Ashcroft's videos and she raved about it and I think literally everyone and their mum bought it after that. Um, so I bought it and really loved it so I definitely recommend this. If you know any nice like toners please do let me know because I am loving the trying out different skincare, seeing what I like, seeing what I don't like. Yeah definitely let me know. Okay so now on to the actual makeup. There's quite a few different things. Firstly I'm going to talk about this of course. Now she has been beaten She's been used. I want to say I use this every single day throughout 2021. Pears soap in the eyebrows, put a little bit of Fix Plus on it and you're good to go. I haven't found anything as good as this to put in my eyebrows yet. The closest thing I found is the Pink Honey um, soap. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. But me and Jess were literally speaking about this in work, my colleague, she works on Estee Lauder in Boots. Um, we've both tried the Refi Beauty Eyebrow Sculpt, I believe it's called. And review coming soon, by the way. I did film it before this, but I just wanted to film this first because obviously it's a new year. I wanted to say Happy New Year and stuff like that. But it'll be coming after this video, probably on Tuesday, because it's Test Tuesday, you know. So stay tuned for that, make sure you're subscribed. Um, but anyway, we were talking about the Refi one and just a little uh, hint for the video. I like it, but it's not Pears Soap. It's not the same. Refi is more of that natural look. The amount of times that I tried to stick it down and it stayed put, you need to use a lot of it compared to this. This has lasted me and look I haven't even dented it that much and it's still got fucking years to go on this. So the amount of product that you would need for the Refi one, don't get me wrong I love the pencil but this is just and it's like £1.20, £1 something. I advise getting the small ones though because this is giant and taking this to Connor's and to mine to Connor's it's just a faff but the, the mini ones you can get like four in a pack or something and they're probably cheaper and you probably get more in there so definitely recommend the small ones. The amount of people in work say that I have lovely eyebrows, how do I do it? I say pear soap, they're all shocked and then I say like a thin eyebrow pencil like the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit or the Micro Brow Pencil I think it's called by NYX. I literally had a lady similar age to me 
she again she said how nice my eyebrows were and she said how do I do it take me to what you use so obviously I work on Clinique but Clinique doesn't have a soap so I told her pay soap and the NYX eyebrow pencil easy done you've done your eyebrows within 10 pound and she loved it she actually came back and told me like thank you so much for your advice this is what I live for this is what I work for I love it when customers, clients come back to me and say how well my opinion, my skills, my knowledge has helped them. That is really rewarding. And that's what I love about my job. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> that was a ramble about Pierce Soap. Like, girl, calm down. Right, so what should I do next? Okay, talking about Refi. I have, this is again a spoiler, that's the word, spoiler for the video that's coming next. This baby right here, if you love highlighter, but a wet looking highlighter, not a glittery, not a shimmery, but a wet looking highlighter like myself, you need to get your hands on this, like ASAP. Now run, don't walk, run. This, it is a liquid, so if you're not a massive fan of liquids, I don't know what to say. Try it, give it a go. If you don't love it, send it to me, I'll use it. <laughs> but yeah, this is called the Refi Glossy Highlight, I believe. Um, it doesn't say anything on the packaging, which is annoying, but oh my God, guys. You can get packs, like a set bundle. You can get a bundle of her skincare products, cream bronzer and cream blush is really nice as well but this stole my heart this this is probably one of my favorite things in the whole year and i only tried it a couple of weeks ago if that's not saying something i don't know what is you'll see it in tutorials in the review uh, so keep an eye out let me know if you want me to you know do it in a different video now after the review that comes out go watch that if you still want me to like demonstrate or because I've obviously experimented with a bit more now. Let me know if you want a video with it in. Okay, so next is a product that I have been living for months. About five months. Well, it's probably a bit longer than that because I put the video out a couple of weeks after I review it so I get to try it. So I'm gonna say about six months. It's the Pink Honey BFF Bronzers. It's the Bronzing Face Frostings. The bronzer is to die for absolutely love this bronzer especially the shade cookie butter so the shade cookie butter is so perfect i can use this shade when i'm tanned and also when i'm not tanned but i did literally buy the whole range because i wanted to put it in my kit and i'm so glad i did this is so creamy so blendable i actually do have this on today but yeah this is so beautiful i literally have used this every day for the past probably not every day for the past six months but because obviously i like to try new things but going to work i always go to this it's just so easy i love that it's a cream so you put your brush in there and then dab it on i use the peach and cream pc 27 i believe to apply this and they work like a dream. Also loving their blushes that they've come out with. Again, stay tuned for a review on that. The next product is another sort of new product, but again, it's not at the same time. I've had it for about, it says four weeks on there, but I wanna say about six weeks. It's the HMB Cosmetics Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer. I have two shades that I've absolutely been loving. The SF1W and SF2.5W. Again, I did a review on these and since that video, I always say that I like to do later on reviews. So now, for instance, in a different video, these shades are perfect for me. When I'm tanned, the 2.0 is great. And when I'm not tanned, the one is great. But these two together when I'm tanned as well, if I want a little bit of brightness under the eye, the one is perfect, but together, amazing i think i need to get number two because <laughs> i've got one and 2.5 so if i had two that would be perfect these are so creamy they sort of remind me of the tart shape tape 
not gonna lie. The packaging is exactly the same. The Dofa applicator is exactly the same. The creaminess of it is exactly the same. It does increase under my eyes, which I always suffer with. Again, the tape shape never creases on me, which is amazing. This isn't as mattifying as the Tarte Shape Tape, which I love. I love that it doesn't dry down fully matte. I love that it's like more of that natural semi-matte finish and it doesn't cake, which is amazing. The amount of shades that she's come out with is just amazing as well. So props to Honey Boom and her team. Love this, really do love that. So this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. It's only the mini size, but it's lasted me so long and I still have so much left. I would definitely buy the full size next time. Um, I only bought the mini because obviously I just wanted to try it out and see what it was like. I have also bought the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum, which again, it will be in a haul coming very soon. But this is so good. I'll have to let you know about the Maximum one. But nothing can beat this, to be honest, from trying it and using it. Most of the time I use it at the start of my makeup because then I it lets the plumpness come out then and it also hydrates my lips. So I definitely recommend it for that. But then if you just want it for a gloss, then obviously do it. Yeah, I think it is a really nice gloss slash lip balm. <laughs> I don't actually know if it's meant to be a gloss or a like big ball lip products but I've never actually looked into that too much. I've got the of course Made by Mitchell blushes. I have every single shade because he had such a good deal on it. I believe all of the shades were £30 at the time. These are so good for if you are a makeup artist because you can put it on your palette. It's got a dove foot applicator, so it's easy to just put on the palette. They're super pigmented, so you don't need a lot, so they're gonna last you longer. You can mix and match the shades as well, so that's great. Um, you could have like a really bright pink in here and then mix it with like a pe peachy corally shade and then it will be like a peach, peachy corally shade. <laughs> These are super blendable. Like I said, you don't need a lot, so they are highly pigmented um, and they go a very long way. That you put like a little dot for here and it'll go like all the way. Amazing. Love them. And they're amazing layered as well. And they're also amazing on the lips. They are really, really nice on the lips. I see Mitchell putting them on lips all the time, especially on himself and clients and stuff. So yeah, these are so, so good. I have been loving the Beauty Bay, by Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes. Their eyeshadows are probably one of the best eyeshadows I've ever used. And for such a reasonably priced brand, Oh my god, how good is that, that you get such a variety of shades, and I believe this palette is, oh god, off the top of my head, about nine, £10. I have loads of their Steen palettes because they're great in my kit, they're great for myself, for travelling, um, and also their, I think it's 35 or 45 colour palette so reasonably priced if you want to adventure out to colour on the eyes definitely invest in one of these because not only is it going to be affordable you're getting quality you're getting quantity as well you're getting quite a few shades in one i know they do colourful palettes like this size they do the bigger ones so many different variety of shades. I know they've got the fire one as well, which is beautiful. I think it's called fire. This nude one is just perfect, especially in a makeup kit. You've just got your essential brown tones, which you can't go wrong with. And yeah, I absolutely love it. They are honestly one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas ever. I've ever tried. If you want to see it in action then go check out some of my tutorials. I'll link one in the eye. Last but not least we have the Trigwell Cosmetics eyelashes. These have been hands down my most worn eyelashes this year. Especially the triggered eyelashes which are beyond stunning. Absolutely beautiful 
eyelashes they are so up my street if you've seen my recent eye looks or makeup looks you'll see that i've been wearing these but i actually cut the ends off um so right at the end i would say about a quarter of the way and just stuck it on my outer corner beautiful such a nice cat eye look they are so beautiful and so easy to apply as well so fluffy the packaging i'm sorry beautiful that is everything i have been loving in the year of 2021 i can now breathe I can now move on and try some new things in 2022 and I'm so excited for some new launches, new product testing videos. Let me know what you guys want to see me try and test. Leave them down below. Leave me a comment of a list of products you want me to try that you have been dying to try but not sure if it's good enough. I am so willing to try it and buy it before you do. Leave me a list of videos you would like me to film as well, not just testing videos anything in particular you want to see from me do let me know please i definitely want to be more engaging and interactive with you guys this year and i'm so excited to see what this year brings if you want to support this little channel of mine then please do consider subscribing before you leave if you want to see more of me make sure to turn on that notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any of my videos and if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more makeup, beauty, lifestyle, hauls, fashion videos, then do give it a big thumbs up and I will look forward to seeing you in my next one. I hope you have a lovely day or evening wherever you are and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.